Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's me, it's that uh, DJV coming at you with a review of, of um, uh, Fast Lane. And I'm pl and if you're wondering why I'm doing Grand Theft Auto gameplay instead of WWE 2K15 gameplay is because this is what was in my console after the pay-per-view. So basically, let's, we're not going to start off in order because if you wanted to start off in order, then you get your own channel. I'm with that. No, I mean that sounded, but it makes sense. I'm gonna start off with Bray Wyatt. I did not think he was gonna be on the pay-per-view, or if he did, another cryptic message. But it comes out and says it that I'm gonna take out the Undertaker. And the way he did it was pretty funny, actually. I actually thought it was the Undertaker for a moment until like the coffin opened and it was Bray Wyatt. And he was basically like, "I'm coming. I'm gonna take the soul of the Undertaker." And to me. If I <laughs> so th to me this set tells me that it's set in stone that Undertaker has signed off to do this match because if he didn't that would be pretty funny it would be really funny if he like didn't if he didn't even sign off on the match and he's like watching like well, this is news to me that would be pretty funny but, uh, <laughs> it sucks. I actually kind of see Bray Wyatt face Undertaker. So, this is going to be Undertaker's last match. And, this is what I got to say, man. Personally, this should have been last year's match with the Undertaker. Because, to me, I think that would have made more sense. Like, Bray Wyatt. But, now nah, he's kind of going to be passing on the torch. So, basically, what's going to happen is he's going to pass the torch to Bray Wyatt. And he's going to leave the WWE. It's going to be his last match. So basically, the Undertaker's last match is going to be with Bray Wyatt. So yeah, I, at WrestleMania, the event that he's most famous for winning at. Bray Wyatt calls him out, so let's see what happens with that tomorrow. But if I was going to say, Undertaker has to show up either tomorrow on Raw or um, uh, next week on Raw. Either way, I'm excited to see, see what's going to happen. And Sting. We're going to get to the Sting portion of the pay-per-view now. Triple H, man. He, he, he basically tells him to leave. Now, obviously, Sting ain't going to do that. So this is what he does. He basically tries beating the he hell out of him. Then he grabs the equalizer. And when he grabs that, he has like a bat to his neck. Which I don't know why you were intimidated. He has like a bat. You have a sledgehammer, dude. Just go off, man. You can just beat him down with the sledgehammer, you just don't even waste time. He like held it to his chin, what was he gonna do? He's gonna push it, he's gonna push it up his jaw or something? Anyway, let's get on to my, all right. With that, they made the match, he's like pointing to the mania sign. Again, I'm pretty sure that Sting has vocal cords and could speak. So I don't, so they beat up, they had a fight and uh, I can see this match turning into a street fight, to be honest with you, because uh, they're hitting each other with weapons already. And the bat and the sledgehammer. You have to have it to be like an overall match. I don't care what match you do, but I think a street fight would make the most sense. Hey, sorry. Alright, now let's get to actual matches. And my most shocking one was Cena and Rusev. So, again, this sets up for their match at Mania. But, um, uh... Man, I cannot believe that Rusev like won with the submission hold. I thought he was gonna pin him. I was like, ah, I can't really complain about it, to be honest with you. Uh, he ain't burying him, but I know at WrestleMania, Cena's gonna put Rusev over his shoulder and then give him the attitude adjustment. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen at Mania. We all know Cena's taking the belt at Mania, or maybe even someone else might do it. But. Be interesting to see where this goes off tomorrow. Or she keeps asking for him for a match and, or something. Again, we'll see what happens. All right, now Dean Ambrose versus Wade Barrett. I think the ending was kind of bullshit, to be honest with you, because a disqualification. The ref didn't count to five, so therefore his that shouldn't have happened, and therefore that match should have had a clean victory. Or maybe something with Wade Bear actually leaving the match. 
But I did find it kind of funny that he stole the belt. He's like, you know what? You don't deserve this. You tried walking away. So this is mine. So he steals it, and I, I kind of think that should be considered him being champion. It's my championship. Which will make them have a match at Mania as well. So basically, this is kind of like a setup for Mania. Alright, let's get to the Divas match here, and Nikki Bella pulls Not off a off. clean win no smoking, off right? of uh, Paige. I did not see that coming. It was a roll up and she grabbed the tight toy. Is that considered a clean victory? I don't know, man. But I know she was pinned with barely any help. Wait, maybe did help. I, I didn't really pay attention too much in the match. All I noticed that she grabbed the tights. But to me, by the way it looked, it kind of felt like she wasn't really grabbing the tights. It was more for hand work <laughs> down Paige's pants <laughs> there, flat. <laughs> That's just me, and I, I might just be seeing things on blind because that turnbuckle cam was sort of stupid. And that was only used for the Divas match. What a waste. What Excuse me. Oh, yeah, we're going to fucking fight. Fuck it. Oh, no, no, you no. Think you fucking scared but, me? um... And by the way, what a waste is something Grimm's Toy Show says. Uh, I did use that from Grimm's Toy Show, and hopefully I don't get like a copyright strike or something. That'd be bad. Okay. But alright. <laughs> I, I, I thought uh, Roman Reigns versus Dan Bryan was match of the night. And I wanted Roman Reigns to win. And before you get mad at me, be like, why do you want Roman Reigns to win? Roman Reigns sucks. Cause I was there at the Rumble, man. And everyone was booing this poor guy. Suspect you were just chill. Cause on, look, um, this should have again another thing that probably right? should have happened last year. But everyone wanted to see him win last year. Everyone wanted to see Rusev win this year. So far, we know now next year Rusev could win the Royal Rumble. So we gotta stop cheering for the other guy if we don't want the guy to win. You know the direction of the match? Yes, just, just, just shut up about it. Because then the guy he wanted to win that year actually wins the Rumble. It, it's, a, it's a thing of the fans wanting something and getting it and then realizing they don't want it. So, fans are flip floppy like that. I think they should have waited to bring back Daniel Bryan a little bit. Because. We both have a triple threat match, but I kind of hope happens is that like uh, Daniel Bryan comes out, congratulates Roman Reigns on the win. You know, he kind of did. He shook his hand and said, "You better kick his ass." Which game was pretty cool to see. But I'm gonna kind of come out and be like, "I don't know what I'm gonna do now." I'm gonna have Ziggler come out and be like, "Hey, I don't have a match for Mania. You don't have a match for Mania. What do you say we? What do you say we steal the show? Then they have a match because again, that, that's what I want to see." Not that everyone wants to see, actually. I, I could be definitely doing some fan service. To personally, I think that'd be pretty cool. Alright, um. What's next here? Stardust versus Gold Dust. I don't like Stardust's new attire, personally. I think that entire. That attire is stupid. That is actually one of the dumbest looking outfits in wrestling I've seen. Personally, I don't like it. And I didn't see Goldust winning it either. I thought Cody Rhodes was going to win it, but I guess him jumping out of the match gets yeah, it for Mania. Alright. Usos and Cesaro. Pissy kid. I heard the Usos were going to face the Ascension at Mania for the belt, so. Maybe they'll win it back on Raw or something, which would be stupid because they didn't, uh, they just lost them. But um, they defend. I think it'd been cooler if like Cesaro win. What? What's this? It's the Ascension. And they're jumping them and they beat down Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. That's what should have happened. Or maybe they're gonna have um, the primetime players face them at Mania. I don't know. To me, I, I don't kind of see where Mania is going for some of these matches. Basically, all I know is Sting's gonna win, Roman's gonna win, and uh, that's basically all I know about Mania. Personally. Alright, now, I know there's another match here. Can I, can this match? Hold on, let me think. Hmm. Yeah, see, this is that, That's a sign of a like, not too good pay per view. So if I don't remember the matches. I'm blind to play. I don't think there's another match. 
I'm gonna go check it out and see what the matches were because I'm uh I'm I'm kind of uh um No more. I think that's it. Well, anyway, even if it is, I said it wasn't that bad. It was bad, but it was decent bad. If that makes any sense to you. It's great performance. I think Hope Mania is much better than what they've been doing lately. And, uh. Oh, wait, there was one match. Seth Rollins, Kane and Big Show versus Dolph Ziggler. I knew I forgot that match. I'm sorry I forgot that match. I honestly didn't remember it because I, I didn't really give a rat's ass. Only decent part to say about that, Kane got a pinfall. I wasn't, that was stupid. I think Seth Rollins should have gotten the pinfall. That would have been better. And then Randy Orton making the save. Honestly, I think Jon Stewart should have came out and made the save. It would have been funny to see them cower in fear of Jon Stewart. Because nobody does. No one does that, man. I thought it was going to be Stewart's versus Rollins. For the Money in the Bank briefcase. Or, or for the Daily Show. Could you imagine that? If, like, Seth Rollins ends up winning and then he rolls to the Daily Show. It's a Daily Show! Seth Rollins! I would laugh my ass off. Uh, uh, this shit is whack, son! Uh. Look out. Oh, well, yeah, match was decent, but I get it. Seth Rollins should want should have won that, and well, that's all I gotta say about the baby. That's all right. Peace out, and see you next time.